Good morning, everyone. This is uh, Sunday morning. Well, let me get out of the light. <laughs> uh, July 3rd. It's about 5 o'clock. And, well, you can see it's still dark out. <laughs> Ain't even got no light yet. <laughs> but I'm getting ready to throw some coffee on. I wanted to show you something. My batteries... Even after tonight, in case y'all don't believe me, are at 25.7. So that's what's running the refrigerator at night. And something I discovered, which actually is pretty cool, I've got this uh, Echo Flow River Pro that I've been using. It's got a fan going, a rechargeable fan. My tablet is charging all off of that. I'm not having to use any of my battery bank, which is actually pretty. I kept the fan going all night long because what I did, I charged it up. This is a USB rechargeable fan that I got. And it runs on this Echo Flow while it's charging. The, both of these things the fan and the laptop let me see are using 26 watts that's it so that's running the fan and the tablet and what will happen is it'll run like this it takes about two hours two and a half hours it'll completely charge that fan then I can unplug it from the echo flow turn it off and that fan will run for about 10 hours on its charge. So it's a pretty efficient way of keeping a fan going in the cabin without having to use the solar. So it just helps support the solar. And what will happen is when the sun comes up, I'll take my 220 watt panels that comes with the Echo Flow, plug it in, and I'll have this Echo Flow charged back up to 100% in... I don't know, three hours, four hours. It's only at 42% now. So, and I've used it uh, Friday. I used it yesterday. I used it overnight. I'm using it now. So, it's, that's a good way to, to supplement the off-grid, I've learned. So, I like it. But everything here is still working great. This is over two years now. And my batteries are just now at 90%. So I can dig that. That's the way it's supposed to be. But yeah, I'm getting ready to have some breakfast. <laughs> Start cooking. I gotta get some coffee going first. Alright, sitting here with a fresh cup of coffee. One thing I forgot to show you. Uh, let me get over here. I put up one of those screen, magic screen things on the door. And you know what? It lets in a whole lot more cool air. I mean, it's it didn't get down very cool last night. Um, it's very humid. That's the biggest problem. But it wasn't too bad. I mean, I didn't leave that open all night because... You know, to keep the flying critters out, but <laughs> Rocky Raccoon, if he wanted to come on in, he could come through there. But yeah, that works out pretty good. I like that little magic screen thing. I don't know how long it'll last, but it was on clearance somewhere for five bucks, so I grabbed it. But you can see now, it's starting to, the light's starting to show up. And, uh, be getting my breakfast on. I'll be back. Okay, something else I wanted to show y'all about my solar. It's 6 o'clock now, 6.06. .06. There's no sun out yet. In fact, you can see the clouds. I mean, we got rain coming. But, my solar panel's sitting over there. And... 
I know it's not much, but that green light flashing, that's electricity being generated by them. So they don't, you know, I mean, that's not enough to do anything yet. I mean, it's sending a little trickle charge maybe, but you know, don't worry about the fact that, you know, you have to have full sunlight 10 hours a day in order for solar to work. I mean, it can stay cloudy all day. It will still fill my batteries back up because I didn't let them drain too far. So, it works. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it's going to rain. I wanted to get to mowing first thing this morning. Try to beat the heat. Let me show you. Well, that's a little quick. It's already like what 74, 75 in here. Man, <laughs> it's gonna be a hot and muggy one again. But that's what we get. But any day out here is a good day. All right, breakfast is done. <laughs> I wasn't gonna show you me cooking breakfast and eating. That wasn't necessary. But I will show you the sun is coming out. How beautiful this day is gonna be. It's about 7.30. Solar's cooking. And I know that I could have set my panels up better, but you know what? For what I'm doing, they're just fine. But yeah, as soon as the dew burns off a little bit, then we'll hop out here and start mowing. And I got to get my phone charged up. I just got... The thing just popped up. It's about dead. So, I'll be back. Alright, folks. It's now in the afternoon. <laughs> I uh, got a lot done. Let me show you what I got going on here. Uh, got my cabin cleaned up a bit. Go out my new screen door. This thing works pretty well, actually. Since I haven't got an actual screen door yet, it's kind of nice sitting inside, watching the things flying around out here and just rarely one getting in. Because the wasps like this porch and the carpenter bees. Let me show you what I've been doing today. Besides mowing, I have all the mowing done finally. I was going to wait till evening when it cooled down, but... I wanted to get it done. So all that's mode, we'll do a little walk around here in a minute. But one of the things I wanna show you, you probably won't notice, I mean, cause I don't have like before and after pictures. But this area in here, I started clearing. It looked like this. <laughs> now I'm working my way back. We're gonna have a trail system going through the property. And Alex is going to put a building back there. So we're going to decide which trees have to come down and, you know, get him all set up. So that's a chore. That really is. Man, I remember, let's see. Now we've had this nine years. We've had St. Bernard Acres for nine years. And when we bought it, that's what it looked like. And let me tell you, a lot of hard work and a lot of patience, it turns into this so far. And what happens is every week or every two weeks when I get to come out here and mow, you'll see the difference in the shade. I try to go back a couple of more feet all the way around. Not trying to bite off too much, but if I can gain a couple of feet 
of clearing, then I'm going to win. I'm eventually going to have cleared what I want cleared. But yeah, just a couple, three feet at a time, and you can do it. And burn as you go. <laughs> Holy crap, did it get hot, folks. Man, it feels good here in the shade. I thought I was going to get rained out. Fortunately, I didn't. So, I was able to get things mowed. My little park here. <laughs> Sometimes what it looks like after I mow. But... You see Bobby's property over there. That, you know, his is half of this. That's what this looked like. So, yeah. Like I said, a lot of work, but it's so worth it to get to come out here and enjoy this. It's so quiet. Nobody bothers me. I work at my pace if I want to work. You know, I'm away from all of the distractions in at home, you know, with the TV on. And I mean, it's just so cool. Look at that. Two bunnies down here. You probably can't see them, but wow, one, that's a big old bunny. Yeah, they're happy I mowed. The other morning, I walked out here, and there must have been 15 bunnies in the yard. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. There you go. Yeah. We got plenty of them around here. In case something happens, we'll eat. <laughs> Just don't get tell Gale. But yeah, I gotta, for the evening, I gotta save the weed wagon and try to knock down some of this stuff after the weather cools down. No one of them left, but one of them's still there. Hey, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I see you eyeballing me. There you go. Now, earlier, when I was mowing, I was riding around this bottom of this barn and I caught a whiff of something. And it's like something is dead in this barn. I don't know what, but you can sure smell it. And I hear the Flies are buzzing. So let's go on a walk here. See if we can find anything. Oh man, there's a rake. I was looking for that earlier. Holy crap. Holy shit, does it smell. Y'all see anything? Holler. <laughs> it's not going to be a mouse or anything, it's something big. I can't tell where the flies are buzzing. I can hear them. Well, I don't know what it is, but I guarantee you, 
There is something down here decomposing. Right in this area. Whew. I have to go get my flashlight. Damn. Huh. Well, I don't see nothing, but I sure do smell it. Whew. There, getting a headache. Wow. What a smell! Holy cow! All right, well, I have to go back up the cab and get the flashlights. Come back down here and see what the hell has died. But it smells like something big. Or at least, <laughs> there's a lot of smell. Let me put it that way. Because I caught it driving around here. There was a breeze going through the barn. And when I was over here, I, I smelled it as the breeze blew it. Make sure it's not back here. No. So there's no breeze right now, so... Huh. Red raspberries. Yeah, I don't know if you can see them or not. I got blackberries, red uh, raspberries, and blueberries. Wild on this property. Got it all mowed, everything put up, and locked up like it's supposed to be. Still loving my bridge. I got a stain at this fall. Because I heard you let them sit for a while and dry and everything before you stain them. So it's been, I guess we built that a few months ago. And uh, I'll stain it here in the fall. But sure like know what that is dead. If I find out, I'll tell you. Man. But I'm going to have to head back in now. Tomorrow's Alex's birthday. He's a 4th of July baby. And I'll tell you what. We used to live when we lived in Cincinnati. We lived in a community called Reading. And every 4th of July, they'd have a big celebration over at the park with fireworks and everything. And for the first few years, we used to tell Alex that was his party. That's the party we threw for him. <laughs> then he figured out we were lying to him. But I still try it. So having the fireworks down at... Uh, Heritage Port tomorrow night. I'm going to try to tell him I've ordered that for his birthday. We'll see if he lets me get away with it. But anyway, hope you all are enjoying your three-day weekend. Remember, don't drink and drive. You know, all those kind of things. Enjoy Independence Day because I'm sure I won't be putting a video up tomorrow. 
enjoy your cookout, party like crazy. This may be your last Independence Day, so take advantage of it. I know I am. I'm gonna party like it's my last. So, until next week, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. Oh, by the way, yes, I saw where that video was, the audio was screwed up. The audio at the very end of the video somehow got lapped over what was part of the middle. I don't know how that happened, but I'm out here. There's nothing I can do. I couldn't go in and fix it. I looked at it. It was good enough. I mean, it got the point across. I mean, it's a 33 minute video in 4K. That's like, I don't know, 12 gig I was trying to upload. I ain't doing that on my iPhone. Trust me, up here in this hills, ain't happening. But I'll watch for that stuff later. Sorry about that if it bothered anybody, but I've got enough dislikes and enough comments and enough likes that I totally appreciate that I know enough of it got through for y'all to understand. But this is Joe out here at St. Bernard Acres. I'm out.